Hey, hey, what's up out there? It's your man John, a.k.a. Flip, with another Get Fit with Flip home workout video. So check it out. As you see today, I got on my Michael Jordan shirt. It's a tribute to the uh, Last Dance series they're doing on ESPN. The first two episodes last week was pretty interesting. So looking forward to this week because they're going to have Dennis Rodman on this. So you know that's going to be... Some kind of crazy, some kind of fun, and probably everything Dennis say will probably be half truth and half lie because this is how Dennis Rodman rolls. So anyway, for today's workout, hope you got a stick. Like I said, you can bring the broom stick. I just happen to have this painter stick. Any kind of stick you're going to need for today's workout. Very important that you have a stick because you definitely want to need it for today's workout. All right, enough said about that. Put this baby down for right now. Because as always, you have to start out with a little bit of stretching to get the body warmed up, all right? Always, always the case. So, and also, too, just love to bring in for a little bit of uh, prayer time. So, I uh, just want to pray for everybody. So, uh, actually, dear Lord, just to bless us during this workout, bless us that no one gets harmed or hurt during the workout. I hope that the workout brings. Uh, uh, of sense of stress relief and um, also help with uh, somebody who may be suffering from some type of uh, uh, joint pain or uh, just needs to really work on their fitness level. That's what we're here to do. So I ask God just to bless this workout. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so check it out. Got to start with our stretching. So what I'm going to do today, each time we'll do a little bit more, uh, I think it's sophisticated, but a little bit more different stretches each time, all right? So what I want you to do today is get a shoulder width, a little bit more than shoulder width wide base, and we're going to stretch out right in here in our quads, right in the middle, all right? So what you're going to do, what you're going to do is come down to the squat position, you're going to scoop down, and you're going to take your elbows and press them out against each side of your leg, all right? So it's going to look like this. And if you can't go all the way down, you can go down as far as you can. But for those who can, you're going to scoot down. Take your arms, press against your elbows, and push your legs out. As you're pressing in your, with your arms, with your elbows, you're pressing out with your elbows, but you're pressing in at the same time with your legs. So you're going to feel that tension. Come up. Scoot down again. Same thing, squat all, sit all the way back as far as you can. If you can't go down, you go as far as you can. Um, yeah, you know, bend over as far as you can. All right, come back up. Let's do one more of those. Scoot down, press out. All right. All right, good job. All right, so now that we've done that, keep it with the same thing. We are going to go to the uh, right hand side. Stretching out the leg, opposite leg and back. Down as far as you can go. Hold it. Come over. Let's go to the other side. Put as you can go. All right, Let's come back to the middle. We'll go straight back. Really get those legs a good, 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 good stretch. All right, let's come up. Take our hands over our head. So those arms and shoulders. See that arm, opposite elbow. Doesn't matter which one you go with first. Take that hand and press down. Switch. Other side. Good job. All right. Grab some water. If you want to, grab some too. I saw my chain there. Remind me of this new show we're watching on Netflix. It's called Black As You Know What. Uh, it's a spinoff from Blackish. I think the guy that actually is the executive producer for Blackish actually. Uh, did this pro doing this show? He's actually starting this show. Hilarious. Very dysfunctional family, but still actually pretty hilarious show. So took my chain here. Alright, so today 
grab your stick. The stick will be the most important part of your workout today. If you don't have one, you need to go get one because trust me, you will need a boom stick, mop stick, whatever kind of stick you want, whatever kind of stick you need. Grab a stick. All right. So, what we're gonna do, like always, is show you the exercises, especially these, because all these are a bunch of different exercises. We're gonna, go, we're gonna I'm gonna show you the exercises. We're gonna do them together. All right, three sets of um, each exercise, like we always do. And boom, then we'll be done with our workout for the day, all right? So, for our first exercise, we won't need our stick. What we're gonna do, we're gonna run in place, but we're gonna do like crisscross runs, almost like lateral. So, instead of running up and down like this, what I want you to do is when you run, take your feet, so they're kind of going behind my head, going behind me like that. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start out with uh, those run squats, crisscross runs. We're gonna do a squat with a shoulder press, all right? So squat, you're gonna squat down, come up, stick over your head. As soon as it touches your shoulder blades, back down, squat, come up, all right? We're gonna do 10 to levels. And then we're gonna do a oblique twist, oblique twists, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your stick and hold it like this, like you're going in the battle. What you do is, and we're gonna do 10 for each side. You're gonna take your stick, you're gonna swing it down past your body. And see how I'm coming way past the parallel point? I want that's gonna work your obliques and it opens up your the muscles in your back right here, but it's really more so for the obliques. So it's gonna look like this. Swing down, come all the way back over, swing down, and you're gonna switch grip, go opposite way, the same thing, 10 of each. See how I have a slight leg, knee bend, leg bend. So for this side, when I'm going down, I feel it on obliques here. When I'm going down to the left hand side, which is probably your right, you're gonna feel it in that side, the obliques, all right? So we'll do 10 of each, each side, 10 squats with the shoulder press. We're gonna start with our run, all right? And then we'll move on to the next set of exercises which I will show you while you're in your recovery period after these three sets, all right? So if you're ready, 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 steady. Three, two, one. Let's have some fun. Let's start with that run. Light on your feet. Always try to stay light on your feet whenever you're doing any type of exercises. This is good for your calves. It's good for your lateral movement. It's good for your fast twitch muscles. Also good for your cardio. So, you know, I try to swing my, see how I swing my arms to get out of the rhythm. So really when you're coming up sideways, you almost try to kick yourself in the back of your leg too when you're coming up. So you really want to go fairly quick. This exercise right here. Almost done. Two, all right. Next, just grab our stick. We're gonna go right into those squats with the shoulder press. Leg shoulder width apart. Three, two, one. Have some fun. Press, press. Now notice as I'm squatting down, I have my head, I'm looking up. You don't wanna look down because you put pressure on the back of your neck. You wanna sit straight back like you're sitting on a chair, almost similar to that, six. A seven, deep breath in, exhale, eight, two more, nine, one more. All right, good job. Now, let's do those oblique twists. Grip, I'm going to my left side first, which will be your right side, to the east side. Three, two, one, let's have some fun. Really over-exaggerate that twist because you're working the obliques. So you want to make sure you get a good full twist in. That's five, six, seven, three more, eight, two more, one more. All right, switch your hand grip on the other side. Three, two, one, let's have some fun. See, I'm slightly bending that leg on the side that I'm going to. 
Really, you should feel it in your obliques. Five, six, four more. Eight, exhale, and one more. All right, good job. Put your stick down. Go on to our second set of crisscross runs. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Sunny day here in Philadelphia. Chilly. I'll take it though. Come on, keep going. Work. You should be feeling this in your calves because if you're moving fairly quickly from side to side, then you're light on your toes, you'll be feeling these in your calf muscles. All right, good job. Let's grab our sticks. Second set, shoulder press, squats with the shoulder press. Three, two, one, let's go. Head up. Good job. Inhale, exhale. When you blow that air out, you don't blow it all out at one time. You let it come out slow, so like that. You don't wanna go. Seven, three more. Eight, press through the bottom of your feet. Nine, one more. Good job, all right. Let's get our second set, those little bleed twists in. Three, two, one, let's go. Where my storage container is, I told you. That's my problem area. My big problem area. Obliques. Especially the older you get. So they never want to go away. One more. All right, let's switch sides. Go. You see, they always appear. Walk past the mirror. There they are. Say, hey, Jonathan. Your obliques are here. All right, I'm gonna work on you. Seven, three more. Eight, two more. I feel these in my obliques. You should too if you're doing the right way, all right? That's two sets. That's what, we got one more set of this and then we move on to our next exercise. Three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, I thought the documentary pretty good. It's a 10 part series. I thought it was going to be showing one a week. I'm actually glad they showed 10. I thought the part about Scotty Pippen was interesting. Him and his contract. It shows you got to have a good agent. And management should have budged. It's a great player. That's how it is though. You know you're great. It's like Shaq and Kobe. Eagles get in the way, other things get in the way. They bring up a good dynasty, just like my group Brownstone. And bold. I can go down the line. Three, two, one, let's go. Ten more. All those great groups break up. The John and Julie Nelson show is not broken up with a great group. I know how to work things out. Keep the Lord first. I work through those issues. Money gets in the way. Ego. Two more. Other things. Next thing you know, you're touring at 65 and 70. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's have some fun. Last set. Each side. Come on, baby. All the way through. Seven. Eight. Two more. One more. Switch. Let's go. 
Come on. Twist. Five more. Two more. One more. Good job. Guess what? We're done with that evolution. Grab some water. We're gonna move on to the next evolution of three exercises. All right, so our next, our first exercise, our next set, set is that we're gonna do a leap, squat, and reverse lunge. So your stick is gonna be slightly out in front of you, and you're gonna leap over your stick, just like leaping over the broom, you know? Folk got married back in the day. So you're gonna take a small leap, come over, do a squat, you're gonna do a lunge back over, all right? Jump over, squat, lunge back over. You're gonna switch legs each time, all right? So we're gonna do 10 of those. Then we're gonna do a stick thrust. So stick thrust, stick thrust looks like this. You're gonna take your feet together. You're gonna go for it like you're doing a lunge. You're gonna thrust the stick up, just like this. So, of course, this works your legs. Work your shoulders, and then we're gonna switch sides. Then we're gonna do 10 on each side. All right, so we got leap, squat, reverse lunge, stick thrust for the lunge, and then we're gonna do front kicks with the stick. So, front kicks are gonna look like this. You're gonna hold the stick out in front of you, parallel to the deck. And you're gonna to try to bring your legs up to meet the stick. Don't bring the stick down to meet your legs. Bring your legs up to meet the stick. All right? So a lot of good leg work on this rotation. Give me one second. And I'm back. All right, so we'll start out with our leaps, squats, reverse lunge. We're gonna move into our stick thrusts, and then we're gonna do our, what I say, front kicks. So, Soft knees, so what I mean by soft knees, I want you to start out, this is your starting position for your uh, leaps. Not standing all the way up, but bending over like almost in a squatting position. You're gonna use your arms for momentum to go over the stick. So we're gonna do 10. So three, two, one, let's have some fun. Squat. Other leg. Our stick up, just tuck those in your legs. You can start whichever arm you want to. I want my left, which will probably be your right. Three, two, one, let's go. Make sure you exhale, going forward. Thank you. Getting that dinner back in the day. Seven. Three more. One more on this side. Legs should be burning. Three, two, one, let's go. They're not. I don't know what's going on. Really thrust with that stick. So we want those shoulders. It's almost like a lateral raise. Three more, two more, one more. All right, that stick, pull it down in front of you, front kicks, three, two, one, let's go. High, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's get ready for our second rotation. Stick back down the ground, soft knees, deep squat, reverse lunge. Three, two, one, have some fun. Oh yeah, make sure you breathe in. It's important. Four. Lift up the camera. Come on, baby. Seven. Eight, two more. One more. All right, first look. All right, now stick the rust. Right hand, if you're ready. Three, two, one, Let's have some fun. Lunge. I'm gonna exhale on the way up. Come on. Lunge. Legs should be burning by right now. You just joined in. Come on, join in. Get your stick. Follow me. Reverse hands, all right? Three, two, one, let's go. We got plenty more workout. Five, seven, exhale, nine, and one more. All right, good job. So, let's see. Oh, our front kicks. Stick parallel to the deck. Ten front kicks. Three, two, one. Let's have some fun. Two, two. Remember, bring your leg up to the stick. Seven, eight, two more, 10. The legs are getting a good workout because I'm stretching your quads and your hamstring. Who is that? Hey, Scott. Worked out already. Right. Ah, all right, our last set. Here we go. Lunge, remember leap, squat, lunge. Leap, squat, lunge, there you go. Three, two, one, let's go. Squat, lunge. Lunge, backwards lunge, of course. Three. Squat, four. Five, six, four more, seven, come on, eight, two more, nine, or oh, legs, gonna get some work today, ten, all right? Last set, how about lunge thrust? I'm starting with my left, it's probably gonna be all right. 10 of them, let's make them count. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's say you're working those legs, shoulders, with the leg raise, of course your heart, which is the most important muscle, in case you didn't know that. You have all the show muscles. That heart muscle ain't right. It don't make a difference. Switch hands. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on. Hands. Three, 
Halfway home. Seven. Two, three more. Eight. Almost count, huh? Nine. Ten. All right, last set of those front kicks. Remember, stick stays parallel. Legs to the stick, not stick to the legs. Three, two, one. Let's have some fun. Five, six, seven, oh, eight. We'll go a little bit more. Some people join late. Ten. One, one, two. Come on. Four, five. Come on. Six, seven, eight. Two more. Nine. 10. All right, good job, everybody. You never know I'm gonna change it up, so you always have to be prepared. Water break. We're gonna move on to our third rotation. Let me see what's going on here. I'm out. Don't worry about him laughing at you, girl. You do what you gotta do. Hey, Felicia and Miss Corey Harris. What's up? All right, so, give me one second. So, our next three exercises, we're gonna do knee power-ups, which we don't need to stick for. We're gonna do a squat with a chest press for the stick, and then we're gonna do bent over curls. So like always, show the exercises, and then we're gonna go through them, all right? So power knee up, so or simply this. Hands up in the air. Back, gonna drive that knee straight forward, all right? 10 on each leg. Of course, that's gonna work the legs and the abs, all right? Then we're gonna go into our squat with a chest press, all right? It's gonna look like this. I told you, you know I love to work legs. You're gonna squat, bring the bar in, up. So squat, in, out, up. Squat, in, out, up, all right? We're gonna do 10 of those. I'll probably lose the rhythm on those, you know what I mean? And then we're gonna finish off, finish off with bent over curls. So bent over curls are gonna look like this. You're gonna take your, get in the squatting position. A lot of legs. Relax um, your um, wrist on your knees almost, all right? You're gonna take your stick just like this, and you're gonna curl it up. Just like you would be doing a curl at the gym on a bench, or we sometimes we even do them on our legs. So it's gonna look like this from the side. We're gonna hold it at the top. So you get that squeeze on the muscle, all right? We're gonna do 10 of those. So let's start out, put our stick down. Let's start out with our power knees up, 10 to each side. We're gonna move into those squats with the chest press. We're gonna finish off with those open biceps and summer muscles, all right? So we can start to the left or to the right, does not make a difference. Let's get ready, three, two, one. Let's have some fun. Oh, almost like you're driving somebody's head down to your knee. Not that I've ever done that before. I'm Gentle John. Other side, let's go. Bring that knee all the way up, power through. All right, let's grab that stick. Out in front. Three, two, one. Let's have some fun. Squat. One. Squat. Two. Squat. Three. Squat. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, two more, nine, and one more, ten. Good job, all right? Now, get over in that squat position, get that bar, stick, 
Rest it on your, on your elbows, on your knees, should I say. Three, two, one, 10 curls, let's go. Nice and slow, squeeze at the top. Exhale, five, split, six, six, seven, it's all about the tension, eight, so you're feeling your legs too, nine, ten, good job. Sometimes it's not about how much weight you have in your hand, it's about technique and tension. Technique and tension will build the muscles. It won't make them huge, but what it will do is tighten up the muscles, all right? so. And that's our goal here. Keep you fit and tight. Three, two, one, let's have some fun. I'm trying to make muscle men out of people. So it's not the workers that I'm doing. I'm too old for that. Two more, switch. I try to follow some of these guys. Some of the exercises they're doing these days. Mm -mm. These bones say, no thank you. No my speed. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right. Get ready for that second set. Let's see if I can keep a rhythm this time. All right. Three, two, one. Have some fun. Squat. Yeah. Squat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, come on, two more, one more. You should be feeling these. You should feel them in your back. You should be feeling them definitely in your legs. When you pull back, exaggerate that movement. All right. We have that second set of curls. Three, two, one, let's go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Everything is done at a rhythmic pace, not too fast. Not too slow, but you definitely want to get to work. So that's why you got to squeeze. Eight, two more. One more. Good job. All right, that last set. Knee power ups. Let's go. Keep up, keep up. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on. Oh. It's your last set of these, so give it what you got. Seven, eight, gonna do a few more. I told you, you never know I'm gonna throw some extras in there. Three, four, five. All right, switch up. We can work a little bit today. Three, two, one, let's go. You'll appreciate it. Seven, Drive through, five more. About those abs. Body by flip, right? My video body by flip. Oh, to dream, the big dreams. All right, last 70 squats. Three, two, one, let's have some fun. Halfway home, or are we? It's eight, nine, come on, ten. Don't put it down on yet. One, one. 
One. One. Come on, one more. For real. Good job. Woo, sweat. Good job, all right? Last set of them curls, as you can probably figure by my count, we're not gonna be stopping the 10. Three, two, one. Squeeze. Who's good in the Marine Corps? When your exercise didn't count, the drill instructor will repeat the same number. You'll say one, one. I'm like, huh? I know I can count. It took me a couple of weeks to catch on. I said, oh. 12, 13, 14, one more, 15. All right, good job, good job, everybody. Take a break. We're gonna go down to the floor next. We'll run straight. So, let's get down on the ground. Finish out. All right. So, what I want you to do, because those bent over rows and everything we did work our back a lot. So, I want you to bend over and just stretch your back out for a minute. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Get up as far as you can. All right, and come up and relax. All right, so. My fan. So, we are going to finish out with alternate leg lifts and sit ups, extensions with our stick. So, alternate leg lifts. Here's what they look like. A nice side view, all right? You're laying all the way down, ground, stick will be over your head. You're gonna bring your knee, lift one leg up at a time, so it's gonna look like this. Bring that stick up right to that knee. So we're gonna alternate 10 on each leg. Then we're gonna go all the way down to the floor. Take our stick up over our head, knees are bent. Come up, all right? Sit up just like this. Back. So those will be difficult because you really hold on to that stick, so you gotta use your momentum to kind of swing you up. And I want you to extend all the way up because I want you to stretch everything in here, all your abs, okay? So, let's start out with our alternating Leg lifts, we're gonna do 10 on each leg. We're gonna give a 15, 10 second break. Then we're gonna go on to our sit-ups and we're gonna rotate and do a couple of sets of those. And then we may, 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 may be finished. All right? So let's everybody lay back, grab your stick, put it over the top of your head, lay flat. On my count, three, two, one. Let's have some fun. Rotate, come on as high as you can. It's five. Exhale on the way up. Come on. Three more. One more. All right, should have felt those. Hope you did. All right, we got a little 10 second break. Now we're gonna go into our sit ups. Knees are bent, stick us over your head. Three, two, one. Let's have some fun. Extend out, come down slow. Good job. Can't do them with the stick, guess what? You need the stick down and just do a regular sit up. No big deal. I want you to do the exercise. I do want you to try with the stick though. Exhale. Seven. Come on. Eight. Two more. 
Nine. One more. All right. Now you should be feeling those in your abs, all right? Those two exercises. I'm glad you are feeling the abs. Guess what? We're gonna fill them in our abs again. So lay all the way back. Stick over your head. On my count. Let's do 10 more of these babies. Think about that summer body. Don't worry about the pain. Three, two, one. Let's have some fun. This is all fun, see? I'm gonna say three, two, one, let's have some fun. Exhale when you come up. Inhale on the way back. Don't thump your feet on the ground. Control. That's the thing with obliques. Everything is controlled. Come on, baby. Halfway home. Six. I feel them. I feel them. Three more on each side. Two more. Hang with me. One more. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? Do you feel who's, who's doing it? Everybody feel them? Julie Nelson, do you feel them? I know you do. All right. Our next set. Arms extended. Sit ups. Three, two, one. Let's have some fun. Nice and slow going back. It's three. Four. Control those abs. Squeeze those abdominal muscles. Five. Six. Seven. Three more. Come on. Eight. Nine. One more. Good job, good job. All right, one more exercise up top. Well, we gotta talk about those obliques. I love talking about my, my oblique muscles. Are they always with me? All right, good job. So, let's take our step behind our head. We're just gonna do side to side bends. All right, it's gonna look like this to each side. But when we go over to the side, I want you to hold it for a second. Don't come up so fast, because one, you can twist your back and hurt your back. And two, I really want you to Focus on that oblique muscle. All right, feet shoulder width apart. Start to the left or to the right, does not make a difference. Three, two, one, let's have some fun. It's an old school exercise here. I've been doing these years ago. Still effective. Plus some of that new stuff they got for obliques, I can't do that stuff. This is a lot more simple. Hits the point, hit the spot. Nine, nine, come on, keep going. Two more. One more. All right, now let's finish up with some twists. The obliques, of course. Try to keep your head facing forward when you do these. I know it's kind of impossible, but the precept of the concept is try to face forward and just twist your torso, all right? So let's go. Three, two, one. Have some fun. Almost there, baby. Seven, eight, nine, 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 and 15. 
All right, guess what? Drop your stick. You're dropping the mic, we're done. All right, it's time to stretch. I want to stretch that back a little bit because we did put a lot of tension and pressure on the back with those squats and the twist. So, arms folded across, the back. One, two, three, four, five. Look at the ceiling. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend over. One, two, three, four, five, seven. All right, so. Another unique stretch I want you to do today. I want you to get down on your right knee. Left leg is up. Take this hand, your left hand, swing it on the inside of your left leg, and then as you're pushing your leg in, you're pushing out with your arm. arm. So you should feel the tension. Feels good, doesn't it? Stretching out your quads and your hamstrings. And you get your shoulders to stretch too. All right, good job, all right? Switch legs. Right hand up. Inside of that leg. Lunge forward. Push with that leg, push the leg in and push out with the arm. You should feel the tension all down between your legs, stretching your groin and your, your um, glutes. Your hamstring goes on. All right. All right. Let's do this. So this is the last thing. What I want you to do, you know, all, all fours, I want you to come up, have your knees barely off the ground, and you're back on your toes. You're working your core. Your head up. It's a good exercise for your core. You mix this in with your with the stuff we were just doing. Trust me, you probably won't be able to do this for 10 seconds. You're working your legs, but you're really concentrating on focusing on your core because you're drawing in your stomach, which is holding you up. All right, come down, relax. Guess what? We are done. So, listen, as always, hope you really enjoyed the video. I always tell you, Flip's tip. See how it's nice outside? Get you some sun. You gotta get some of that natural sun. Don't be in the house. Open your windows. If you work from home like me, open your window. Open your blinds. Open your window every now and then. Let some fresh air in. You need it. Not only for your body, but also for your mind. So please, please, please. Consistency, consistency in your workouts. Um, and also, please, go to my YouTube channel. The link is right there. In the video, at the end of this, in the end of this video, I have this workout and many other home workouts already posted. This one will be posted by the end of the week. I ask you to like, comment, and please share these videos with as many people as you can. Please get as many people as you can to come join you with your workout. Uh, some people like to work out by themselves. I'm one of those people. That's just me. And other people are need somebody to hold them accountable. So you have to have yourself an accountability partner. A lot of times it's, it's great if you have an accountability part, partner, someone that says, hey girl, you know, the green do the video, get fit with flip, it starts at five. You know, you hit them up, you call them up, then they get on with you. And when you get done, you can, you know where the workouts are at, you can do them later on. But account some people, a lot of people need an accountability partner. So please, if you don't have one and you find it hard to um, Work out by yourself, please, please get you an accountability partner. And that way, and I would love to share these videos with everybody. If you know somebody out there, any of my sickle cell warriors, if you're picturing anybody that has sickle cell disease, please, please, I encourage them to do some of these workouts. You can do these while you're at home, recovering from a crisis. You can do these at the hospital when you're recovering from a crisis. Not all the exercises, but some of them. So please, if you know any sickle cell warriors out there, I'll ask, encourage you to have them come join my channel. I am a father of two kids with sickle cell disease disease. That's why I'm always screaming out my sickle cell warriors and my children are blessed to be fairly healthy and they actually can work out, believe it or not. So um, I really, really want to emphasize that point to people to please get that, um, let those sickle cell warriors, have them join the site. I'm exciting. I'm fun. I'm crazy. All that good stuff. Thank you for all the heart, honey. And
Miranda, you came on late. I'm done, homegirl. You have to catch me next time. I'll say five. That's all right. Guess what? Go to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, buddy. And you can see this workout and many others. And I talked to our boy, the Caesar, the other day. So, anyway, enough said. Please enjoy your day. I will be back on probably two days from now with another workout, another video. Miranda, check the time and make sure you're on in time. Until then, take care. Peace.